Good morning, users. What up, users? We're at Kings Canyon National Park. This is actually day two of our adventure. Yes. Yesterday was all about Sequoia. Due to some camera troubles, we have no footage from it. <laughs> Today is gonna be a video centered here. We're gonna try to hit Grant, Grant Grove. Grove. Zumwalt Meadow, yes, Grizzly Falls, yes, sir. Panoramic Point, yes, sir. and maybe one more spot if we have time. We have a lot to do. We just got some acai bowls, some toast, a sandwich. So we're fueled up, we're ready to go. We're gonna throw some sunscreen on because it is blazing already. It's only like 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna take you guys along for the ride, as right. always. Let's head to Grant Grove. Thanks for joining in. Two bears. One of them is off Two in the woods. Two bears. I've never seen a bear in my entire life. We saw one on a hike, and then on our way, on our way out of the park, we saw another one, and it was causing a traffic jam. Like everybody was stopped. Did you get everything? Everybody was stopping to get a picture of this bear, and it was so cute and little. It was so cool. Anywho, we're gonna try to find more bears. Today. Old. This guy told us that we <laughs> were at General Grant, but I think we really found the real Slim Shady, the real General Grant. This guy looks like he is the widest sequoia tree. This thing is freaking massive. I wish we could stand next to it for measure, but here's our guy, here's the real guy. It is the widest known sequoia at 40 feet across. That's crazy. I like these fun facts. The General Grant tree is so wide it would take about 20 people holding hands to make a complete circle around the base. 20 people. That's crazy. There's signs all over the place when you're walking up that say, go this way to see the fire scar. And we didn't know what that was until we came around the backside. And this thing is torn up in the back. Looks like fire just ripped right up through the heart of it. Probably goes up 50 feet. Five feet deep. On our way to Panoramic Okay, so this is stop number two on our list of destinations for today. We just came up through this beautiful drive up to the Panoramic Point Trailhead. It's only like a half a mile, so not strenuous at all, hopefully. Um, shouldn't take us that long, but we're really excited to see the view. We're kind of in this like crazy wooded area right now, so we think it's gonna open up. point is about half a mile and the view is unreal you can see Hume Lake down there you can see the layered mountains in the distance for such a short jaunt it's definitely worth it yeah. oh. the things I can't throw a disc off this that lake down there jokes on her Get my, my putter. So after about an hour drive, we finally made it to Zumwalt Meadows. It's blazing hot, but it's super beautiful. Lots of white rock, green trees. Let's go to the meadows. Alright, we're going to do the climb. 
classic stick racing under the bridge. <laughs> we both drop a branch. Whoever makes it out the other side first wins. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Ooh. Oh my god. Dude, I just murdered. before and I had no idea there was science behind it. I guess this is all marshland and it's too soft for the trees to stand on which makes a meadow a meadow because as soon as it becomes hard enough all the trees start growing out of the ground so you have this awesome lush green field with trees bordering it on every direction. This is our last stop at the Zumwalt Meadows. We'll see you guys at the Roaring River Falls. Well, we made it at the Roaring River Falls. This is a little cold. We're swimming. <laughs> green color and the waterfall is huge. We did not think it was gonna be this big. There's like canyons and valleys everywhere in that. So cool. Falls, 75 feet tall waterfall, pretty cool. You literally just pull up, park, walk 30 seconds, and you're at the falls. Definitely do it. It's our last stop, but a great stop. Yeah. We're super sad that it's our last stop. Yep, King after this we're leaving Kings Canyon and our adventure is over. But Kings Canyon has been like a delightful surprise. Our review for you right here. Overall, what do you think is your favorite? Which park? Even though we don't have footage of Sequoia, we're gonna review them both for you. And in my opinion, Kings Canyon was much better. I agree. Every single big ticket item on the list took less than an hour to do. You drive there, you park, you do it. There was no crowds, there was no BS. Right. Sequoia had the most beautiful trees, easily. Mm -hmm. If you want the trees, go to Sequoia. But for the variety, definitely Kings Canyon. Mm -hmm. You get to see meadows, you get to see mountains, you get to see waterfalls, you still get to see some trees, just not as many as Sequoia. Go to Sequoia, do the Congress Trail. That'll get you to see General Sherman and a bunch of awesome Sequoias. And then comes the Kings Canyon, and knock out Grants Grove, Zumwalt Meadow, Grizzly Falls, Roaring River Falls, Panoramic Point, all that stuff is quick and awesome. Okay. I agree. It was a great trip. Great quick weekend trip. We shoved it all into two days. Mm -hmm. We're super happy we came and would definitely recommend. Absolutely. Make your way to Sequoia National Park and Kings Canyon National Park. Very worth it. A lot to see, a lot to do. Thanks for watching, we enjoyed having you, and hopefully we'll see you at the next adventure. Absolutely.